Hi, my name is Pat Conroy. I'm an engineer with the St. Louis District Corps of Engineers, and I'm going to describe to you under seepage and sand boils and the problems that under seepage and sand boils that cause. First, you need the right conditions, and these conditions exist at many places along the Mississippi River. We'll start at the bottom with the bedrock layer. And on top of that bedrock layer is a sand and gravelly sand aquifer. And at the surface of that is a clay and silt blanket. And the levee sits on top of everything. Of course, the river channel is right over here, and it extends down into that aquifer. Now what happens as the river starts to flood, it will contribute water into the aquifer. So water will flow from the river channel and into the aquifer and start saturating that sand and gravelly aquifer. As the water gets a little higher, all the sands and gravels are saturated. And if there's an increase in the water level above that, then we start getting water pressure acting at the base of the sand or excuse me, the clay and silt blanket, sometimes referred to as artesian pressure. If the river stays up there long enough, the pressure will begin causing groundwater to seep through that clay and silt blanket, and at some point that seepage will emerge on the, ground, on the surface land side of the levee. If the river stays up there high enough, the seepage will begin carrying sand particles from the aquifer, carry them through the blanket, and deposit them on the ground surface, voila, the sand boil. What's the problem with that? Well, this void or this loose zone where the sand used to be, if, if the seepage is left uncontrolled, that void will start progressing back towards the river. If it makes it all the way to the river, then we can have a direct connection between the river and the land side or the protected side, and that's not a good thing. More than likely, what will happen before the void reaches the river, as it's somewhere under the levee, the levee and the blanket will collapse into that void. This levee embankment will crack, and the river will start to flow through the damaged levee and wash away the levee causing a complete breach.